How did you first hear about the Me Too movement and how did you hear about tonight's blackout? I mean, honestly, I first heard about the whole movement. I think how everyone did on CNN or whatever news show you watch. Like I, Entertainment just, Tonight? Yeah, I was just really, yes. <laughs> but I was just really shocked at like, I didn't know it was happening. I know that sounds naive, but it's never, nothing like that has happened around me. Yeah. Um, so You don't have your own Me Too moment? Have you no. A- so like, I, I really feel naive saying this, um, but I, I, I had no idea and I was completely, I mean, it's grotesque, like the stories that have come out. So, I mean, obviously like, I have daughters. Like, I don't want this stuff happening. I don't want anybody else's kids or anybody struggling like that when you're just trying to make your dream happen. You should be comfortable in your workplace, like wherever you are in whatever work environment. I know she's too young right now, but how would you describe tonight to River Rose if she were old enough or when she gets older? Oh, we have a 16-year-old girl as well. So um, I'm real bold and blunt with my daughter. What'd you say? Um, (laughs) I'm like, first of all, I said they'll say anything to get there. <laughs> so I'm talking like, about the, the men you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they'll, okay. they'll say anything. And then two, like, um, just respect yourself. M- make sure you respect yourself first enough and be bold in your in your own person. And then others will be forced to, you know, I, and unfortunately, not everyone does we as we found. Um, but I yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of the solidarity movement tonight. I'm really excited that everybody chose black because I look good in that color. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, please don't pick pink or something. But yeah, I would have worn it. works all the way around, right? Yeah, I know, taking the stands and it's a good color. Yeah. Right now. You were so cute, you tweeted that uh, finally somebody is recognizing my work and Justin <laughs> Kelly, right? <laughs> yeah. I know. Is that how you feel about being at the Globes? They finally are recognizing my work. I don't know why I'm here, but I... <laughs> But I love being here. I'm so excited. I am on, a part of Embassy The Voice um, this coming up season. So, um, How is that going? Oh, my God. It's so much fun. Is it's it? so much, yeah, I mean, it's cooler. I think even for people like me and Jennifer Hudson because we're those kids. You know, we've been those kids. And, and so it's it's cool, like, to pay it forward in some way, like, pay someone back, you know, um, and, and push their career forward like somebody did for us. So You know, Blake says he can't get a word in with you. But I imagine it's probably the other way. <laughs> No, that's true. I it is true. Lot. Blake is telling the truth. I think Miley and I are like going head to head for who talks the most out of all the coaches. <laughs> that's what they want you to do. You're supposed to I, talk. I like talking. Like, you think I'm friendly. I, if we'd like to hear you talk, yeah. so Blake, just be quiet. Just shut up, Blake. Yeah, exactly. You don't have anything prolific to say. Exactly. <laughs> He's just funny. It's just competition between him and Adam. He's awesome. Yeah, I, I can't wait to beat him though. So. I know.